it's just so obvious what you're trying to do. People know you're selling. People know, why do they know? Because they get 20 of them probably every day on LinkedIn. Why you should never ask an open question on LinkedIn and I will explain to you why. Just before we jump in, who is this specifically for? This is for people who cannot get qualified calls. I should put a Q there to signify qualified calls. And I'm gonna share with you exactly what you can do in order to do it right now. So let's just first of all review what you shouldn't be doing. So these are the four things that people are doing that consistently are not working. How is X? It's like the standard basic question. It's like, how is your business? How is this going? How is that going? It's just so obvious what you're trying to do. People know you're selling. People know, why do they know? Because they get 20 of them probably every day on LinkedIn, probably even more, and it doesn't build a relationship. Starting the conversation like that, no. The second one, what's your biggest something? So it's typically, someone will put in here, what's your biggest priority at the moment? What's your biggest problem? So they're trying to elicit a problem so they can hook onto that and book a meeting. And guess what? Every single prospect sees this coming. They know you have an agenda. Why? Because everybody else does the same thing every single day. And when everybody else is doing the same thing, it becomes noise. And when it becomes noise, they just blank out. They don't see it. That's why conversations go unanswered. Here's another one that people are doing. They're sending valuable content to people. That's not a good idea. Because I'll tell you why. If you want a qualified call, a qualified call is usually an astute business owner that makes money and doesn't have much time. If you do the calculation on how much a business owner makes, let's say they have 1 million in revenue and they do a 40 hour week and you do the calculation, I can't remember the exact number, it's something like $400 per hour. And you're sending them valuable content before you've even built a relationship? That is not going to cut it. It's really not going to work. Imagine if, that is, there's lots of variations on this, but this is basically what is taught by most lead generation programs. They teach this, create this vision in their mind. Not going to work. It's just basic sales. It's, and it's the same thing that people are getting every single day. So what do you need to do instead? Let me show you. You need to do two things. Two things. So R before B. What did I learn on the first morning of my first sales job with my first ever sales manager? I remember this was 2003. I went into the office and, and I went there. I was going to start cold calling. He's like, wait, 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 Mark. Come in this office. I need to teach you something. And this conversation has stuck with me ever since. It's the most valuable lesson I've ever learned in sales that I've ever learned in lead generation. It's why my business is where it is. It's why we're having record breaking months. And that is this, people buy from people they know, they like, and they trust. That is the only lesson you need to have in sales. All the approaches I just showed you were business first. You've got to have a relationship first. And there are multitudes of ways to do this on LinkedIn, but I'm not going to cover this today. I'm going to cover this one. Experts take a stance. This is critical, right? When you're in a noisy environment, and I don't honestly believe that anybody is not in a noisy environment right now. We've all got competition shouting from the rooftops. So what do you need to do in order to cut through the noise when you start a conversation? You need to take a stance. You need to have an opinion. And that opinion needs to be polarizing. And that opinion needs to be presented in a message in a way that the person understands who you are. Yes, you're going to repel some people, but you're going to attract the right people. And that is what a qualified call is, isn't it? It's someone that sees you as an authority, someone that agrees with your values and someone that needs your service. So all you need to do is this. You just need to ask the question on a polarizing topic and then you need to tag on the end a statement. Now, what's a polarizing topic? I mean, obviously politics is a very polarizing topic. We're not interested in talking about that. But every industry and every field of work, each industry and field of work has a hot button topic. And what is that? It's a topic that people cannot stop talking about. And they're desperate to offer their opinion on that topic. So you need to ask the question, 
about what their view is on that topic, and then you need to tag on to the end your opinion on that topic in an educated, concise manner, because that lets the person who's receiving the message understand the level of the conversation they are in, so they can adjust their answer accordingly. It also lets them know that your opinion is really good. And it also plays to the psychological principle of reciprocity, yeah? You give something and you give something back. My business is growing because we use techniques like this. My clients are getting results because we use techniques like this. We recognize that we have to stand out from the noise. We recognize there is an issue on LinkedIn and a lot of platforms with people just sending those awful open questions and imagine if and valuable content. It's not the way to do business right now. It's not going to get you results. So I do want to invite you. So if you have found this valuable, if you are not getting consistent calls into the calendar, if you're not moving your business forward to where you want it to be, coaching, consulting, selling to consumers, whatever, this works for any form of human being. And if you're selling to human beings, <laughs> all good. I genuinely hope this has moved your business forward and given you some help that you can implement today.